Hi all, welcome to the channel. Today, I'll be demonstrating about the aggregate transformation in mapping data flow activity of Azure Data Factory. So for this purpose, I've created the input and the output data sets. So the input data set contains the product related information. There is a product column, the corresponding company, quantity ordered, rate of individual quantity and the cost. Okay. The cost is the multiplication of the quantity and the rate. Okay. And you can see that the company here are in total three different products are there. And the company here is one is Procter Gamble, the other one is Unilever and the third is L'Oreal. And different products are displayed with their details. So here we will be aggregating the data. So the requirement is to aggregate the data on the company column okay so in order uh, to aggregate we have to group by so the group by has to be done same as equal here also we will be doing in the aggregate transformation configuration settings the group by on the company column so that with respect to each company we will get the cost so the aggregation will be uh, done as the summation summation of the total cost of each of the company so here like you can see the total cost is the new column which is uh, aggregated output generated from the input data set the cost with respect to Procter Gamble is 120 okay this row the other is 60 next is 75 150 and 30 in total this becomes 335 similarly for the other companies it will aggregate the output so the transformation itself says that it defines aggregation of columns in your data streams using the expression builder we can define different types of aggregation such as sum min max count group by existing or completed columns okay so here uh, we are also calculating the count okay the distinct uh, rows of each of the uh, group by company okay so for Procter Campbell, there are like five different rows from which we have aggregated the uh, output of the uh, cost. Okay. So here, let's go to the official documentation page of this aggregate transformation in mapping data flow. So this also says the same thing. Okay. This is what I have written over here. And there are configuration settings like when you uh, create this transformation there will be a group by tab here you can see we will group by so as per our data we will group by on the company column okay so group by and the next tab is aggregate and aggregation is done on the cost so that it becomes the total cost of each of the company okay so let's go to the azure data factory and create the pipeline Agree gate pipeline we'll take the data flow activity name it as data flow agree gate okay now next thing is to add source let's first see the source data so the source data is in our storage account input folder as products.csv edit preview so we can see the same data okay here okay so it is the same as mentioned in the excel now we'll work on the same data as input so let's write the source name as aggregate input data the data set will be storage gen2 as a csv file it is present name it as aggregate input data storage gen2 Let's browse to the location where the file is present. ADF, ADF input, 
and products.csv click first was having header so click on it click ok okay so this is done next we have the projection tab this is important as you can see that the columns quantity rate and cost are having integer values and we know that we are taking the file as csv so by default csv takes all the columns in string okay so we'll change the type of uh, this uh, these three columns to integer so that it will not create an issue when we aggregate the uh, cost okay so let's make it integer only yes this is done we can enable single partition so that it will not create any issue let's now review the data so for this purpose first enable the data flow debug option once the cluster is ready we can see the data over here let's wait for a few minutes to get the cluster ready so the cluster is ready next click on refresh to review the data the data looks fine over here next we'll use the aggregate transformation which comes under the schema modifier section you can see aggregate we'll name it as aggregate products data now next is the input stream which is coming as source and the next section is group by and aggregates so the first section is group by it is highlighted in blue so we'll select the column as company because you know in the data set we have we are going by on the company so select from the drop drop down company column okay this is done we want to look at as company only next click on aggregates so it will be highlighted in blue and now we have to write the aggregation logic which will be on cost okay so we'll be calculating the aggregated cost with respect to each company so let's select or we can rename also okay we can either select the cost column or we can write it as user defined name as total let's say total cost okay so this is what would be the new name which will appear and the corresponding expression so the expression will be you know that it could be some min max form here we want to total cost so it will be the summation of the cost so it will, the expression will be sum in brackets and the column name here is cost so click on cost it came twice so here is the cost okay now click on save and finish so this is done now here i've created another column as occurrence so occurrence will be the count so here we'll be taking the count let's create another column so here is a add button over here so click on it click on add column it will give you a new column so we can name it as occurrence okay and can write the expression in the expression builder as count and the column name is company so click on save and finish this is done next we have to optimize so select just a single partition and in the data preview let's click on refresh one important thing is that the sum cost and count company would, would give error if you have not selected in the source the projection as integer so better uh, like change in the source level the type of the columns on which you have to aggregate the uh, data okay so here's the data preview so we can see the data preview showing the companies aggregated cost and the upgrade it looks fine now we'll attach the sync name it as aggregate out data set 
will go with the storage location. Link service is already there. The location as ADF output. Click on OK. First row is having header. Click on OK. Okay, this is done. In the settings, we'll give the file name what we want the file to be named as. So we'll click on output to single file. So it will enable the set single partition which will appear here in the optimized tab. Then the settings, single file name we have to write. So let's write it as aggregate output data. Okay, AGG output data dot CSV. So that we can review the data there itself. That's why we are making it to CSV. The stall settings look fine. Let's review the data over here too. So refresh. So we can see the data as expected. Company total cost occurrence, company total cost occurrence, correct calculation. And now we will, since it's already created, we can validate it, publish the changes, and then we can execute it. publishing completed let's go to the pipeline debug or you can trigger it now so the pipeline is running it is in progress let's wait for it to complete and then we can go to the output storage account location to view the data so the pipeline got succeeded let's go to the output folder ADF underscore output ag output data dot csv click on it edit preview so here we can see the output data as company on which we group by and the total cost the aggregated summation of the cost and the occurrence so this is in accordance to what we desired in our output go to the output so this looks totally fine we are matching and this is very basic beginner level tutorial on aggregate transformation in ADF. i hope you like the video thank you for watching and happy learning bye